G'day little humans, I decided to help out around the town by building you a new tower. I call it the Tower of Pain, because it's made of propane. Just gonna place these two up here, it's gonna be a really tall tower. You guys are gonna love it! Yeah, it's a little bit risky making a tower out of propane, but I think it's gonna be explosive. I mean, fun. Okay, how tall can we make this thing? We gotta make sure we can get lots of humans on here. Oh, you gotta be really careful. <laughs> Don't drop these things. Okay, gotta place that one there. Pop this one on the top. This thing's getting really tall. It's getting a bit dodgy. It's like playing a game of Jenga that could wipe out an entire city. Okay, I'm gonna place these guys up the top. These guys have the penthouse level. Mm, premium guests. Oh, there you go. Oh, don't fall off. Look how happy they look to be on top of the Tower of Pain. All right, how do I, uh, <laughs> how do we sort of christen this thing? Do we just, do we just whack it? Just gonna just nudge this thing ever so gently. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I can see some smoke rising up out of the middle. Surely that doesn't mean anything, right? Just gotta keep whacking the tower for some reason. Whoa, okay, now we have flames. Do we have a fire department somewhere? That guy over there, maybe. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! Whoa! Okay! They all kind of went off at once. We lost the humans. No, here they are! They survived! Sadly. This car on fire as well. Oh no. <laughs> the flaming cars! I wasn't expecting that. What a plot twist! It's not my fault they made me a giant kraken and gave me tanks of propane. It's the developers. One more. One more for good luck. There we go. You guys ready? Hang on to your pants! So last time I played this game, I discovered this alien ship. The entire story in this game is me trying to basically work out who I am and where I came from. I'm a kraken thing, right? Can't I just jump in this? Like, get my tentacles in there somehow? They're just, come on, put your tentacle in there, Jim. You can climb in there, Finn. Okay, let's get this thing. I'm just gonna place this in here. I don't even know if this goes in here, but I'm just gonna whack it in there anyway with my tentacles. It's really hard to use your tentacles to do stuff. Okay, is this open? Yeah, it does, look at this. It's just like making a cheese toasty. Look out, champs. This thing's going in. All right, close it up. Did you get some cheese in there? Mm, love myself a cheese toasty. Let me know in the comments if you like cheese toasties. If you don't, are you even a human? That's the question. Oh my god. Being a kraken is the worst. All right, toss that thing in. We've got to examine the crystal, whatever that means. Turn it on. Man, I'm smart. All right, I'm just going to get this guy and just eat him into the ocean. Okay, I'm going to just chuck this guy in there. Does he need to go in there? Hey, dude, you're the alien now. You drive the spaceship. Whoa, this guy's going crazy. Gotta get him out of there. Are you right there, little dude? I think he was possessed by aliens for a minute. Slowly bring me closer to the ship. Okay. Oh, put him in. Put him in there. I think it's Cthulhu wants to get him. Yeah, we did the thing. A hot air balloon showed up with this little guy. Get out of here. I'm just gonna drag him into the ocean. <laughs> Drown little captain. Ah. Oh. He's back. Terum, terum, tall. What does that even mean? I told you this guy is absolutely crazy. Whoa, dude! Guy's hanging from the thing by his pants. Hang on a second. Guy's got some crazy long pants. Open the thingy. I don't know what this is. I'm just gonna open it anyway. Come on, get out of there. It's not coming out. What's this? Oh, it's so heavy. Ugh, dude. What's this thing made of? You could crush a human under here if you wanted to. As a matter of fact, hey there little hazmat man. Stand over this way. Get on the shipping container for a sec. All right, are you ready to be crushed? Dush! <laughs> I pancaked the little guy. Oh, he's all right. He's okay, he just popped back up again. Whoa, see you little champ. It's so much fun tossing humans around in this game. Oh, I see where they're going with this. Okay, let's get this thing and just throw it right in there. Come on. Oh my God, this is so hard. This has got the crystals in it. We're basically trying to analyze the crystals to work out what's going on with this alien spaceship. I need to work out where I came from. It's just so important for some reason. Okay, close that up. Yeah, oh, don't trap your noodles in there. Oh my God. Ugh, I had it upside down this whole time. Oh, I feel like I'm using my actual tentacles. Whatever that means. I don't have tentacles. But you know what I mean. Lock it in. Let's go. Whoa. Is this weird anti-gravity stuff? Look at this. Dude, everything's floating. Uh-oh. What have we done? What have you done, Professor? Uh! <laughs> it's like an electromagnet or something. Uh, maybe shut down the reactor. Why would I want to shut down the reactor? This is loads of fun. I've just had an idea. I expect you here tomorrow 
for more experiments. Okay, champ. There we go. Trucks also go in the fountain. Humans, guess where they go as well? In the fountain. Get in there. Oh, yeah. That looks fun. Are you enjoying the fountain time? Get that person in there as well. Get all the cars and put them in the fountain. It's like a party. Fountain party. Oh, car. Ugh. Get here. You get in the fountain with the rest of the cars. Oh, it's night time. This is spooky. Hey, scientist man. I'm in dire need of a very special research assistant. You got it, dude. Okay, you might want to get out of the water. The tide's coming up. This little guy's going to drown. Welcome back, my friend. We are not friends. Look up. Whoa, cool. He's made tiny little magnet balls. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call you from now on. Magnet balls. All right. Let's pop these things on here. Whoa, dude, these things are strong. Oh, there's one down here. Okay, I'm gonna bang, pop that there. Nice. Keep placing the magnets. I'm trying my best, but they're like, they're stuck on. Oh, you turn them on and off. Okay, and one more. Oh, down there. Hey, what's this? There is so much potential. Oh, is this a camera? All right, selfie time. How do, how do we, yeah, it is a camera. Yes, I did it. Ugh, give me that. Thanks. All right, I like this scientist because he makes lots of cool devices. This thing looks like a speaker. We could play some awesome music with this thing. This thing is so heavy, even though I'm a giant Kraken guy. All right, let's place that there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so this thing dispenses magnets. I'm gonna need a couple of these things. All right, let's place one right there. You can use these to build, I just worked out. Okay, so we go like this, go biggity bang. We put that there, look at that. Then we get this, pop the magnet. Oh man, come on. <laughs> I feel like if I had fingers, this would be so much easier. Is that right? Oh, it's not strong enough. Okay, it's definitely not strong enough. I'm gonna need another magnet. Okay, is that holding? It's definitely not holding. This is such a hunk of junk. Ugh. Okay, just gonna pop that on there like this. Is that, yeah, I did it. So this thing is used to confirm your work to make sure you've done the work correctly, right? So you basically have to hold it like this and then you scan it and it goes, yeah, you did the work and it prints out, it prints out a picture to prove it. Just in case anyone comes up to this giant Kraken guy and demands proof that he did the work. Okay, I've got to get a ship all the way up here like that, right? But I need to hold it up there using magnets. It's some super big brain stuff. All right, we need some building materials. This is a building material. There we go. All righty, bang, just like that. Oh, this is actually pretty fun. All right, Ugh. it's like playing a VR game, but all you have is like just two fingers, that's it. You don't have hands and fingers. You just have two fingers, and but they're really long. And they have suction cups on them. And they can kill people. That's what I'm talking about. Just gotta make this thing super stable. Oh, she's getting heavy. <laughs> Building useless crap with fin point. That's the name of this game. Can it hold the weight of a ship? You better believe it can, because I'm super smart. It's, it's beautiful. We have made a ship tower. No one can ever get out of that ship. They're stuck there forever, including you, little scientist man. This is what you asked for. <laughs> oh no, something bad's happened. There's magnets all over the place. <laughs> oh no, this little guy, he's gonna die. I better help him die. I mean, I could save him, but I could also just put him out of his misery. You know what I mean? And he's right over that fire like a barbecue and he smells kind of good. What did you do? It's a catastrophe. <laughs> a young man from the night shift has tried to use the crystals. Because he's a massive idiot, no doubt. Okay, so we can use some different type of magnets now, uh, because we can't actually turn these ones off. They're busted forever. That's not good. Oh, we've got a slingshot over here. Oh, cool. Oh, <laughs> I have a new device. I don't know what this is. Apparently it's called a zapper. Let's just go... Whoa! Okay, it zaps things really well. All right, let's get some more zappers. All right. Oh, dude, yes. Just gotta zap all the things. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that guy there though, because he looks like he's having fun with the fire. Oh, I'll help him out. There you go, little champ. I'll tell you again. Yeah. Let me repeat this. Yeah. Okay, again. Yeah. I'll repeat. Yeah. Okay, I've got to make my own slingshot, I'm guessing, out of this thing. I can do that. All right, let's get some legitimate magnets. And just bang like that. And place it. Does that work on the ground? Oh, it works like that, though. Okay, I've made a slingshot. Does this thing work? Oh, yeah, so it does. Okay, I need to destroy the other things. Okay, this is a bad slingshot. Okay, attach that thing there like that. Then i got to stretch this out. And attach this here like this. Excellent. Okay, I think I've got a working slingshot. Let's just test it with the little scientist man. 
There you go. It's the science. You ready there, champ? Oh, yeah, good work. <laughs> Was that fun? Oh, there's someone up there in the boss. All right, I got your boss. Whoa, got him. <laughs> you saved me. Only just. Almost killed you as well. All right, there's a little guy over here. I'm just going to throw this one. That's <laughs> so bad. All right, come on. We can do this. I'm going to save the little human. Yeah, I did it. Save the peeps. Oh, it's the mayor. Look at this guy. He looks like the Monopoly guy. Please, assemble structure using metal plate. Okay, all right. What's this thing do? Whoa, dude. Okay, stop this thing. How do we stop it? Okay, that, we need to... Okay, we stopped it. All right, don't push the button unless you want to kill the little professor guy by accident. He's always nervous when I'm around from that time that I yeeted him in the ocean. I'm gonna do it again. You can't stop me, little mayor guy. This is why the mayor hates me so much. I'm just gonna drop a block on him today. <laughs> he can handle a block. Whoa, it's like a Minecraft cube. Just clobber the mayor. Okay, I'm just gonna throw him as far as I can. Whoa. See you, little mayor. Oh, here he comes. Yeah, good job. <laughs> All right, guys are in the way anyway. Oh, she's a little sketchy, but it's not bad. Okay, then we get a shipping container, and we have to put the mare right behind the metal, just to show how good we are at making cannons, I guess. I don't know what the science is. I'm not very smart. Are you ready to be blasted with a cannon? All right, here we go. See this? Works really well. Whoa! Uh, you right there, dude? Hang on a second. Just gotta stop this. All right, little guy back up there. Let's go. Cannon time. Oh, yeah, nice. Woo, it works. Okay, that definitely holds a little bit better. Yeah, awesome. Look at us go. All right, take a photo of my beautiful work. I can look back on this and remember the time that I almost killed the scientist. 